Photos for Class is one of my favorite websites to use, especially with younger kids when you start talking about citing Creative Commons resources appropriately. If you go to photosforclass.com, they have a great database of photos you can use in your classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and search for Panda, and I'm going to click Find Photos. You'll see that it pulls photos from a lot of different sites. For instance, Flickr is one of the ones that it pulls from. So your students have all these different pictures to choose from. And this is a website that will also work on a tablet. So if you're using tablets, you can just use the web browser on your tablet and um, use this same site. So I just can scroll through and find the picture that I think is perfect for my project. I'm gonna use this one and I'm just going to click download. So for, for um, photos, you generally need to use title, author, source, and license if you are going to be citing them correctly as far as Creative Commons citation goes. So that can be somewhat difficult for some little kids to have to do title, author, source, and license. Even with copy and pasting, it can be a little clumsy for them. So I'm going to open the picture that I downloaded. And that's, this is what makes Photos for Class so cool. I'm going to put it here in the middle, and you'll see every time you download, this black bar shows up on the bottom of the picture, and it actually has everything you need. It has your title, you have Panda, it has your author, Lihi Koren, it has your source right here, and then it has your license. So it's a great way to start teaching kids about attribution without having to do all the cumbersome copying and pasting. I actually love using it as an adult too, just to save time and a little bit of energy.